Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Chicory, A Colourful Tale. Last time we just sort of get, got ourselves introduced to the story, uh, we have taken the brush, which we have in our back here, because Chicory seems to be out of action or missing or something. We don't really know yet. Uh, but we have the brush and we're going to go talk to Blackberry, who was the previous wielder before Chicory, to try to find out what's going on. Uh, but for the time being, uh, we're just checking on all the people in town here in luncheon. Hey, Zucchini. Huh? Excuse me, I'm working. I bother someone else. Oh, alright. Hey, Oats. Passion's a way to show, this is who I am. When it's really sublime, it says, this is what the world is right now. But what is the world right now? Hmm... A beanie and a pocket jacket. That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. If you can show it to me, I'll give you something cool. So yeah, uh, Oates has a bunch of different outfits that he wants you to find, or that they want you to find. Uh, and when you find the matching outfit, you get a new outfit piece. We don't. We do have a pocket jacket, we don't have a beanie yet, so we can't actually do that. I'll have to come back. Hey, Lemon. Oh, hello, Tangerine. Everything lost colour suddenly. What's going on? And why do you have Chicory's brush? It feels like something is horribly wrong. Well, if you have the brush, can you colour my house back in? Um, however you like. Oh, um, th thank you, but... Sorry. Can you erase it a bit? Y you can use R, Z, R, or Z, L to do that. I I'll tell you when to stop erasing. Oh, th that's enough. Thanks. It wasn't how I liked it before. But you can colour it again, if you want. I'd really like it if you coloured it d differently. Got some purple? How's that? Oh, uh, are you done then? Uh, um, that's fine then. Just so different from how Chicory did it. But thanks. Oh, Lemon by Boo. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks again. Hey, Tangerine. That... The brush? Did you steal it? Lol, whatevs. What's it like wielding the brush? But it's really cool. It is really cool. Oh yeah. I'm jealous. Can I try it? Yeah, go for it. OMG. It's me. Ricky would never, ever let me touch the brush. It was super fun. Thank you, lol. You like my drawing? I love your drawing. It's fantastic. Hey, thank you. Maybe I should be the next wielder. Wink. Being the wielder is sweet. Makes you super cool and important. Everyone wants to be your friend. Wish I had that, lol. Love you, Pickle. Such a great character, I love you. <laughs> okay, I think we've spoken to more or less everyone in luncheon, so we need to head this upwards. Let's go. Got some more of these trees. Uh, you could just figure this out just by trying to paint things and see what happens, but you can also get a hint from talking to Basil, which we did in the first episode. 
A shaking tree? A kitty. A lost kid. Over here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, we got a peony. May I recall we needed one of those. We will not be going back to talk to Oath until we've done the chapter, but we now have the ability. That's nice. That is Blackberry. Did Chicory give you that brush? Yeah. So it's worse than I thought. You don't seem ready. I hope I'm wrong. Come this way. Up woods! Uh, we have four different colours. They're basically all shades of red now. Uh, but yeah, the Thupper Woods colours are a little... a little different. <laughs> Bloop! Head this way. Uh, basically this is about getting used to these springy platforms. This is the feature of this area. Uh, the deal is, you paint them so they get big. Uh, when you step onto one, it will always fling you the direction you were walking. When you get flung onto one, you can change the direction. So I can do this, for example. Da, 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 da. A flower dress? Yeah, let's wear that. Heck yeah. Look great. You got a bow! Heck yeah. Adorable. Oh, I should mention, um, the draw dog does not have a defined gender. Uh, you were explicitly supposed to pick one for your character. Uh, in the English game it never mentions the gender at all. Uh, in some of the other languages it prompts you after you type in your favourite food, like, would you like to be addressed masculine, feminine, non-binary, or neuter, I guess. Is, I'm not sure how it translates, it's in French, but you can you get to choose uh, this character's gender based on your particular draw dog and the way you feel. Um, this is different from characters like Frisk, Chara, and Chris from the Undertale, Deltarune multiverse, who are all explicitly non-binary and you don't get to pick their gender. Uh, this character, uh, Pizza, or in this case Tangerine, you get to pick their gender. And we're going to say that Tangerine's a girl because I'm a girl and I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> but yeah, um, everyone gets to pick that they're at themselves. Like, this is a character you explicitly get to decide that for. Uh, I, think, I think the bow reminded me of that. I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, let me see here. Uh, I want to go the bottom route because I want to get that kitty. I also want to get this. Uh, if you see sparkles like this, you have to be standing in the right spot, but when you see the sparkles, you paint that spot, and there's a gift. A -da -da -da, starry tea. I'll put that away for now. Oh, the cat went up there anyway. Okay, I'll, I'll get I'll get to you, little kitty. Just a second. Just just give me just give me a moment. <laughs> this is primarily, I think, a puzzle game would be the right description. Uh, it's all about manipulating the environment around you with your paint, lost kid, in order to get yourself through the areas that you you're in. It's it's not too complicated. Um, wait, hang on, I want to see what's up there. Forget if there's anything. Another present! Ba -ba 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 -da -da. Oh, a sun hat! Um, I'll stick with the bow for now, but it's nice to have. Here's another puzzle. 
Uh, I think I want to go to the top one first. Bottom one, we'll see how we go. Again, you can change direction if you're being flung onto one of these, so we can get to all those, no problem. And get a present. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Oh, a hoodie. Yeah, I wear a hoodie. Let's go. Uh, this is a dark cave. Yum cave, as you can see. We cannot progress here. Um, the cave is too dark, and there's this wall here that we can't get past. So we'll have to come back later. Can we go this way? I'm gonna make sure I don't miss anything, you know? Here's a present. A lot of these things become easier to get to later in the game, when we have a few more abilities than we do right now, but... Eh, we can do it now. So we will. Da, 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 da. A scarf! Uh, the scarf actually counts as a head piece of clothing. There's only two clothing slots in this game, unfortunately. If you wear the scarf, then you can't wear the bow at the same time. And the bow is real cute, so I might just leave it on for now. <laughs> uh, this is Blackberry's house. Uh, we don't want to go in here because Blackberry is not home. Uh, as you can see, no one's home. Oh, I hear a meow. Right here. Hello, little kitty. That's four lost kids. I'm sure a lot of these creepy trees around here. This one's got an opening. Ominous. Uh, we can't light this darkness yet, but we can just walk through it, so it's not a big deal. Finally made it. This is what I wanted to show you. I've never seen anything like it. If Shikari thinks you deserve the brush, your responsibility to face him. What exactly is going on? What happened to my apprentice's colours? And where is she? You shouldn't be here. <gasps> Boss battle time! Ow. Oh, we took a hit there. You can see, uh, Tangerine is sort of grimacing a little bit. That means that you are at one, like you've taken a hit out of two hits. Uh, when you go back to normal, you can take another two hits. Ow. Uh, you can't hurt them while they're coloured in. You have to wait until they've blasted and then they become like dark outlines, then you can hit them. Weird that there wasn't a scopophobia content warning for this boss battle. Given in the... oh, that's what, that's what happens if you take two hits. Uh, you get knocked down for a little bit, and then you just get back up, and the boss battle rewinds a tiny bit. You can't actually die. Yeah, I might put a scope of phobia content warning of my own on this. At least a chapter marker. 
Boss battle complete. Some of the later bosses do actually have content warnings for, like, things that can be sensitive, but that one doesn't, which is a bit weird. <sighs> Chapter 2. A Wielder's Duty. Uh, we'll continue a little bit more. Uh, we probably we won't do the whole chapter because that would take more than 15 minutes, but... What was that? A corruption. Out of nowhere, it started growing here. Even I didn't expect it to attack. I only got out thanks to you. Ikari could learn a thing or two from you. My old apprentice. This is all her responsibility. I would never have sent you. He's a coward. How could I have trusted? Stop! Saying bad things about chicory. You didn't give me the brush. I took it. And I might not know what's going on, but whatever it is, chicory can handle it. You don't know her at all. You messed up, kiddo. You have no idea how precious that brush is. You risked us all by taking it. I... I didn't think about that. You're lucky to be alive right now. If you know what's good for you, you'll take that brush right back to Chicory and Luncheon. Go! Hmm. Your bond with the brush grew stronger, but don't let that go to your head. Take that brush and return it in Luncheon now. I hope you've learned your lesson. Don't meddle in wielder stuff. This isn't some game, kiddo. Hmm. Letting your brush be taken is even worse than I thought. That doesn't change that you messed up. Go return it. Power it up. You're bond with the brush. Your paint will now glow in dark places. You probably should still give it back to Chicory. Okay, so the main benefit of our brush glowing in dark places are we can go into dark places, <laughs> like Yum Cave here, and we can repel this like lichen or whatever. It doesn't seem to like dark, so it doesn't seem to like light. Sorry. So if we paint the area around it, it gets repelled by the light, and we can get through. And then there's some, a couple more related puzzles. You just paint some things. Uh, if we paint these crystals, they glow, as you can see, which gives us a bit more light to work with. Uh, these areas, I think, are easier once we have a fill bucket to work with. We don't yet, uh, unfortunately. A present? We cannot get that present. Oh, we can. Sorry, I thought, I thought this was too narrow. Uh, but we need to get the present later. We can get it now. Ba, 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 da, da. A cord coat. You ever wear that? Let's give it a try. Present. Another present. I'm not sure we can actually get this one yet. Yeah, we may need to come back. Um, you can see there's like a little gap here. We currently have no way of crossing that little gap. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can't get that present till later. We'll have to come back. Also, these big mushrooms, when they are large like this, they are an obstacle. So we need a bit more darkness to get past them, like this. So, it's a bit of an interplay of light and darkness to get to where you want to go, basically. Uh, I would like that. I would like that present. Let me just walk over that way. The moon tea. I'll keep the cord coat for now, I think.
And with that, we're back near luncheon again. You found a lost kid. Hey, kitty. And let me give you some nice colors. There we go. Hey, beans. Oh! You're the one who found my kids? Much appreciated. Well, if you see more, send them here. I'll be keeping an eye on them. Come in and say hi sometime. Hey, so... I was doing a head count, and... There's an extra kid here. Don't know where from. <laughs> but I thought about it a bunch, and... I can't throw it out. Poor thing ain't got nowhere to go. I'll take care of it myself. At least, till its folks turn up. The right thing to do, I reckon. Oh yeah, I had something for you. You got a headband. You know where that? Just a small way to say thanks. It ain't much, but I hope it's handy. All these rascals running about, it's a lot for one person. But I can handle it. It's so darn sweet. I'm a proud mama. Jeez, the kids just keep coming. Who the heck's losing all these kids? You find three more, I'll have to clean this place up. Yeah, um, there are many, many lost kids we will be finding throughout the game and delivering to Beans there. <laughs> I think, yeah, we need to go back this way to get to the rest of luncheon. We will have some more options later on, but right now our brush does not have a lot of abilities. Hey, time. Go to you again? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh! Hey, P. <laughs> Notice my cool new shirt? Pretty slick design, right? T-shirts by the wielder are a snazzy collector's item. Be worth a fortune in a few years, I bet. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love this new shirt. Probably the best shirt design they've had here. At least for me. I feel like it's totally my style. Thank you for making it. Cute. Oh, this game is adorable. Uh... You know, lately, I've been figuring out a bunch of stuff about myself. It's hard to feel tough when you're realizing you ain't the person you thought. Having a tough look in house helps a bit. I really like Macaroon. We're going to keep talking to him because I really like him as a character. <laughs> but he hasn't got much to say right now, so we'll have to wait. Temple tunnel this way. Build a tower. Hickory! Are you there? I... I have your brush. I took it. But I shouldn't have? Um, can I come in? I just want to give you your brush back. Fine. Come in. Content warning. Depression. Skip. Pause with minus and select skip cutscene. As I mentioned in the first episode, I will not be skipping any of these uh, skippable scenes, content warnings, but I will be providing you with chapter markers, so if you need to skip it, please do. I will give you ample warning, and you will always have, uh, you're always okay to skip if you feel the need to. So, stay safe. If you're still here, let's proceed. Three. Two, one. Chicory! You're that janitor. Tangerine, right? Yes! I'm sorry for taking your brush. I was confused with all the colour gone. Um, you don't know why that happened, do you? No. Anyway, um, please take it back. Actually, forget it. Huh? 
You keep it. Uh, huh? I can't take this from you. You're the wielder. The best one ever. Not anymore. I don't understand. I, I really look up to you. Taking this means everything to me. Just take it. Okay. I'll do it. I'll call it everything back in. And make you proud, Chicory. Oh. Now leave me alone. Okay, we can talk to her, but we're not going to. We are going to leave her alone. Just because I think that's the best thing. Oh, uh, excuse me. The little mouse, you need some colors. There we go. I was looking for the wielder, but, um, I thought it was Chicory. I'm the new wielder. What seems to be the problem? The wielder temple. Some creepy trees grew all over it. All the colors vanished. Total mess. Especially because it's the wielder temple. I thought Chicory might know what to do. I can handle it. Okay. You'll have to take the nibble tunnel to Potluck. Um, but the whole tunnel went pitch black. It was so scary getting here. Okay, bye. So yeah, uh, next episode we'll be heading for the Nibble Tunnel. Right now, we've got other things in our mind. Uh, so we're the new wielder. Hikuri seems to be in a bit of a state. Hopefully she'll be better soon. I love her. Uh, but for the time being, we need to focus on our quest, and we need to head for the Nibble Tunnel. Uh, I'm going to do that next time, because it's put about a half hour. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we start uh, Chapter 2 proper, we're making our way through the Nibble Tunnel. Uh, which, as advertised, is another dark cave, like Yum Cave. So we will need to use our glowing paint powers to get through there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!